One of the most challenging things about life is not knowing what Hashem wants from us. If we would only know what Hashem wants from us, life would be much easier. If a baskal would come out, if we would hear a voice, we'd wake up in the morning and Hashem would call out to us and tell us, this is what I want you to do today. No matter the difficulties we're going through, we would say, for Hashem's sake, I'll do it and we'd be happy. But the most difficult thing is not knowing what Hashem wants from us, waking up and facing all kinds of confusion, not knowing what today is going to bring, new things springing up all the time, and, and we fall into the state of confusion, which leads us to sadness and sometimes to depression, and it's very, very difficult. So what do we do about all of this? Rav Nossin in Lukut Tefillah, in the first Tefillah, he addresses this issue. And just in general, it's just another sign of the power of the Sefer, Lukut Tefillah. It's unbelievable, besides for the Tefillah, and that means for everything we can conceivably need or think of, there's so much advice and so much to learn from the Sefer. Rav Nassim once said that now that the Lukutei Tfilas has come down to this world, we'll have to give, give Din V'chezhen, we'll have to explain why days passed, even one day passed, that we, that we didn't merit to say at least a little bit of the Sefer. So Rav Nassim brings out two points in this first Tfilah that are very relevant to this question. The first one is a piece of advice, and he uses the Lashen, he uses the lotion that um, Hashem, I'm putting everything upon you. I'm putting everything, I'm giving them my all, I'm putting everything on you. I'm relying on you completely. And then he says a little bit later, he says a little bit later, the very humanistic thing. And he says, you know, Hashem, that we are flesh and blood. And we have no way of knowing at all times what do you want from us. What's your true rotsen? What's your true will? We have no way of knowing this. And this really addresses the question, which is that Hashem knows that we're flesh and blood. Hashem knows that there's no way we can possibly know. But what do we have to do? We have to put these two points together. We have to throw ourselves upon Hashem completely and rely upon Hashem just to do the best we can, to do what we think Hashem wants from us. Yes, there's no way of ever knowing that 100% because we are merely flesh and blood. But if we throw ourselves upon Hashem, and that's what it means to rely on Him. We rely on Him by saying to Him, Hashem, we know that you know we're just humans. And we know that you're very compassionate. And we know you know that we want to do the right thing. And when we do that, then we can be confident that Hashem will lead us in the right way. And then we can be just as happy as if a basko would scream out from Shemayim and tell us exactly what to do today. That's our muna. That's how we have to mechazik ourselves. And if we live that way, we'll be extremely happy. And we will certainly be zochet to serve Hashem and do exactly what He desires from us after 120 years in this lifetime. Have a wonderful day.